So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel study with Mumtaz. So today we are again here with a program on scratch and today we are going to make a very beautiful project called aquarium. So as you know like how you can start your class or how you can tell someone what are you going to do and how you are going to make aquarium on the platform scratch. So if you see it let's just you know make it full screen and see how this project works. So you can observe that there are two fish which are changing colors and they're moving left to right in different different directions and there is a backdrop and there is a sound which is a bubble sound. So let's see how you can create this simple project. It's a very basic project. So how can you create it on scratch? So there are only two code blocks which are going to be used here and let's start from the beginning itself uh, i'm not going to use these two sprites i'm going to create a new one and i'll tell you how you can give the commands and other instructions so a sprite is like a character or an object which you use in your project or in your game so let's just write fish here and you can find that there are these many fishes you can choose any fish as per your choice if you see shark these are the costumes for shark starfish for fish these are the available costumes you can choose any one let's take this shark too so you will observe that shark too is added you can keep it anywhere where you want so initially if you feel like that the size of the fish is big you can just reduce it let's give it a number 70 yeah now better so what do you want fish to do you have the backdrop you can have another backdrop also you can generally ask a student like what do we see for aquarium what do we need for aquarium we need water we need fishes so you can just you know go here there are so many categories you can go for underwater and there are two options so underwater one is already there if you want to go for underwater two it comes like this so now we have the backdrop, we have our sprites. Now let's go. So I want my shark to move in this direction and it should move when I press this green flag. So let's go to events and choose. When green flag is clicked, what should happen? The shark should move 10 steps. So when I press the green flag, you will observe that shark is moving only 10 steps. But I want the shark to keep on moving. So when you want something to happen again and again, over and over again. So what do we use? We use a loop. So here I'm going to use a forever loop and I'll just keep this code inside. And yeah, let's see what happens next. So you can see the shark started moving. But what happens? It is stopped here because it touched the edge and now it is not moving at all. So we want that whenever the shark touches the edge, it should come back. So we can make a code if an edge bounces from the motion. Okay, now what is wrong in the code? The shark is going upside down. So there are two ways from which you can do it. So there's something called direction. Either you can choose this option to make it go correct, left to right. So it will be moving perfectly. It will not be rotating upside down. The second thing you can do is by setting the rotation style. If you set the rotation style left to right, it will go that way, like the way you have seen just now. And for don't rotate, it will not be rotating. And for all around, it will be going upside down. That was the first case. Okay, so we don't want this movement. We want the shark to move left and right according to the direction. So our shark will be moving perfectly. Okay. So by this way, you can change the direction so that it can take different, different moves and move in different, different direction. The another thing you can observe with other fishes is like it is having the change in color. The change in color is something which you can see from looks. So just go to looks and choose the code. Change color effect, put it here. So it will show a color effect. See? So in just one, two, three, four, five lines of code, this program will be ready. 
and with the aquarium fish and for the sound option you just need to you know you don't need to do anything just choose the code when green flag is clicked choose forever code and choose the sound play sound bubbles until done just go to sound option and drag the bubble sound inside it like this it will get added and then you can use it in inside the code so this is very easy program i hope that you enjoy this aquarium and it will be very easy if you teach the first project on the scratch to the kids and they will understand it and they will for sure will increase their interest and thank you so much keep supporting my channel if you have not subscribed it please do subscribe it like comment and share bye bye take care